Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 3 Training Part 20. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an idle control tuning demonstration. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our idle control demonstration that we're going to be doing in this video. So at this point, we went through all the idle control tuning videos. We looked at the base idle airflow, the startup airflow, throttle cracker, throttle follower, the rolling idle speed, the adaptive idle control, and then setting up our idle speed and setting up our rolling idle speed, and then looking at our air conditioning based torque loss idle control. So we know and understand how all this works. We have all of the channels set up in our VCM scanner. Now we're going to be jumping in and we're going to be looking at what's going to happen if we add a cam to the engine and then we go through that tuning process. So I'm going to be walking you through, going through flashing it and then jumping into the scanner and seeing what happens and what we need to adjust and going through all those tables that we talked about so we can really tie together this idle control tuning. This is going to be what you spend your, most of your time doing when you're doing your tuning with an LS base engine. We're going to be finding that it's uh, very time consuming, it's a little tedious, but if we do it right, we're going to have an engine that idles awesome and we're not going to have any surging, any stalling, and it's going to do exactly what you program it to do. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check out this idle control tuning demonstration. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look now at putting together all of our idle control tuning that we've learned about in the last couple videos. We're going to be putting it all together in this video and setting up our idle with a less than optimal start point. So this is going to be if we've installed a cam in our LS engine and we need to go ahead and map everything out and get everything dialed in. So I'm going to be walking you through my process, flipping between our, uh, our editor software here and then jumping into the scanner and watching what we need to see and then moving back and forth and going through that process till we dial the idle in optimally. So the first thing we're going to be doing is jumping in here under our engine and we're going to be jumping into idle, and then we're going to be going to our base set point. Now, if we have a larger cam installed, we're going to be definitely idling or needing to idle higher to offset the loss of torque so that we pull a little bit better vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead into my base set point table. I'm going to raise my values here um, for my target idle speed versus coolant and for in gear and park neutral and AC on, AC off. We're going to be uh, going in here and raising these values. Let's go ahead and say, that we want to go and raise them at least 150 RPM. So actually we're going to go into the entire table. We're just going to go and bump everything up 150 RPM. Click plus here. Now we've raised our target speed here at 176, 198, which is going to be our normal operating temps, even up to 220 at 750 RPM. When we fire off the engine, it's going to start up a little bit higher as well. And then in our rolling moving idle here in this calibration, we're going to go in and bump this up as well. We're going to bump up our rolling and moving idle speed. We're going to go and add another 150 to this table as well. So we have these matching. So our base set point and a rolling idle are both going to be set up with 150 high RPM target. Now the next thing we're going to do is jump into our airflow and we're going to go and zero out all of our adaptive idle airflow here. We, we don't want to have any long-term idle trims kicking in because we want to use our short-term idle trims to figure out how much we need to correct our base running airflow here when we get our engine to fire off. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to zero out all of these potential long-term idle trims here and all of my categories, even with the AC on as well here. And we're going to be covering, uh, checking the AC. 